Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. Now this is the build from the last video and as you can see um, I've had a few trapped uh, animals um, in the in the trolling device. Um, this is this was just over a space of probably a couple of hours so I just thought it was pretty funny. Right then, today we're going to be looking at different sort of redstone clocks. Um, they can be used in many sort of builds for many different reasons. Um, this is probably the first one that I ever came across, which is such a simple one to build. Um, you don't have to have it up as high as this. Uh, but it's just it's just a minecart and a detector rail, which is then um, connected to, in this case, a piston. Uh, but it can be whatever device that you, you choose. And this is it in action. Nice and simple, easy to use. Now I've got three other ones over here that I use, you know, a, a fair bit. And this one here is probably the most compact redstone clock that I've seen. I'm, sh I'm sure there probably is a smaller one. I can't see how, but I'm sure there is. Um, maybe on the PC using command blocks or something like that. And it's so easy to use. You just need a non-stackable item. In this case, I'm using a shovel. Don't know why, I just always use it. And as you can see, there you go, it's powered. Now the pulse is quite strong, it's quite rapid, shall I say. And as you can see, it, you'll see it pop in, uh, in and out. Now that's creating a signal which you need to then use a comparator to transform the, the pulse, I suppose, into a redstone pulse. That doesn't even make sense to me, but... Um, as you can see, that the the repeaters there just to send the the strength um, past free. I'll show you what I mean. The reason why I need that in just a sec. Um, but as you see, it powers the the light and it's flickering on and off. That's great. Um, and you can have that connected to many 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 sort of redstone um, builds. I'll show you one that I've done in just a second. Um, now the reason why I've used a non-stackable item, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, if you've got the repeater just there, but over here I've got the same device But in this one, which is the same as that one is a non stackable item It's just a shovel again, and it will go a maximum of uh, three lengths of redstone dust uh, This one is a stackable item now stackable item is something that you can stack more than one um, So sand for example, which is what this is can be stacked to 64 now that only gives a pulse of just one so, but bear that in mind, that can still be useful. There's uh, something else I'll be showing you later on, which uh, uses sand um, and the shovel um, to create an effect, um, which I don't want to spoil you with just yet. And now the second one that I use a, a fair bit, and I think a lot of people probably use this, um, you have to quickly switch it on and off just to get the pulse going. And as you can see, it's uh, working its way around. Now you can extend it by using the... Um, the repeaters just by altering the the lengths although I like to keep it as it is um, and the only way to stop this is to take out one of the redstone dusts and there you go now this one over here is the pretty much the same idea as that uh, with just one added feature that I can turn it off although it's on at the minute there we go let's try again so the pulse is going around just the same as that one was and as you can see, I've dug down one here. So when I flick this lever, it pushes the piston out, which then blocks the signal. So you can turn it off. And I'll show you a good use for that. Not that you probably need it, because a piston will only push blocks so many so far. I think it can push up to 16 blocks before it stops working. I think. Don't quote me on that. But let's flick the button. And as you can see, the signal's going round. And this is going to push the piston up. Um, now every time the cobblestone generator generates a cobblestone block, uh, the piston will push it up. Um, and if you wanted to stop it midway, for any reason, maybe it's making too much noise, I don't know, what well, it shouldn't do when it stops. But there you go, we've turned it off. Now this second build, just here, um, is uh, a use uh, for the, 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 the quickness of the compact uh, redstone clock. If that makes sense. It doesn't really make sense to me actually, but all right. There's my non stackable item and put that in a hopper. And you can see it's gonna start firing out the arrows in quick succession. I'll leave that going. 
I think it's full. Right, now then, as it's Halloween, I thought I'd just build a little Halloween build. And this is, as you can see, the lights are flickering. Now, they are flickering, not necessarily at the same time. Uh, there's sometimes a bit of a delay before it flickers. Now, this is quite clever. You have to use a randomizer to actually achieve this. And I'll show you exactly how it works. Basically, this is uh, the lights, how it's all set up. Okay, um, let me just take away that for the minute. As you can see, it's always on. That's what this uh, redstone torch is doing. It's basically adding power to this to keep it always on. Now, if I add uh, a power into this uh, redstone torch, it will turn off. And that is basically what we're doing. So this here is a ram randomizer. Now it's a hopper which is going into a dropper. Now it has to be a dropper. It can't be a dispenser. Okay. And inside the, dis uh, the, the dropper we've got a stackable item. Which we've got uh, I think five of. And then one non-stackable non item. And basically how it works is if the non-stackable item which is the shovel goes into here it creates a a pulse which as you remember me saying earlier will go up to three uh, three redstone dusts um, if it's the stackable item which is the sand which goes into the hopper uh, then the pulse is only one and it will not activate the torch or in this case turn it off and I'm using uh, this uh, compact redstone clock to actually power both these two devices basically these are two are just the same and it gives the effect of flickering lights like you might get in a haunted house I don't know a ghost train a dark tunnel if you wanted to make a Five Nights at Freddy's uh, pizzeria and you want the lights to flicker you know this is how you can do it and uh, you know it can make it compact to a point uh, but you can hide it easy enough in the roof in the floor you know whatever you feel like and it gives a great effect of flickering lights. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is my second Minecraft video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment if you want to. And please leave a like. It helps the channel out a lot. And please subscribe if you want to have more videos like this. Uh, we will be doing some more gaming videos. Caroline's got um, a few games lined up that she wants to uh, have a let's play. And um, check out all our other videos. We do unboxings. Uh, we've got a few vlogs out there, um, and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much. See you later.